This video is about how to walk away from a narcissist. There are three important steps to take so you can walk away from the narcissist in your life effectively. To find out more, please stay tuned to this video. Welcome to the SCG Show, the home of education entertainment. And please do me a favor, if you really enjoyed this video, smash that like button, I would really appreciate it. Walking away. This is not my first rodeo. I've had the displeasure of walking away from plenty of people in my life. And narcissists are no exception whatsoever. If you're going to leave somebody behind and move on to a better, happier, more peaceful life, Leaving a narcissist is the right choice. If you stumbled across this video, you're pretty much one foot out the door already, and I commend you for that. And I'm glad you're here, because I know exactly what it's like to do this, why you should do this, what it feels like. You cannot discuss your potential separation with friends, family, because ultimately, they don't really understand narcissists. And worst of all, maybe they too are narcissists. A woman I know once wanted to divorce her toxic husband, but her narcissistic parents insisted go back because if you split, it will look bad on us. Ridiculous. Let me continue a little bit more on why you cannot discuss this subject with friends and family too much, especially if they don't understand how narcissists work. They will have no idea how to emphasize with you and treat this like a normal breakup. There is nothing normal, logical, or straightforward about narcissists. You've been so emotionally drained, stressed, and frustrated that you have nowhere else to turn. You most likely are blue in the face from all the arguing, the begging, the pleading, such as, please, communicate, appreciate me, let's work this out. Consider this a sign from the universe that you're watching this video instead. This is the confirmation that you've got to do it. It's never going to improve, change, get better, when dating a narcissist. You are most likely, as mentioned, tried everything and you did everything you could to turn it around. And yet here you are. Never flog a dead horse, my friend. It's dead. And you will look, act and feel like a fool if you continue to do so. Here is how to walk away from a narcissist. The very first step will be split into two sections, acceptance and planning. Let's talk about acceptance. You must come to terms that you're dating or married to a toxic person, a narcissist, for example, and that it's not gonna get better. In fact, what you're experiencing or what you've been through up to now, that's the best it gets. The honeymoon period and the love bombing stage is well and truly gone. You are supply, a toy, an accessory, you're not seen as a valuable human being. Maybe naively you thought, the more I give, the more they're gonna love me. Well, narcissists are spoiled. They're never gonna be satisfied by what they get. Even then, you foolishly think, but if I get married to them, get a mortgage, get a house. And yet here you are, maybe married with kids, a mortgage, a mountain of debt. Then maybe you say, what if I change who I am, bow to their every whim? Just stop. Stop trying to ignore the facts. I know it hurts. My God, did it hurt me. But you're dating a toxic person. And you've got to get out. Pronto. Which leads to the next part. Planning. I was extremely fortunate to not be married or even engaged to my most recent ex-narcissist girlfriend. The exit was messy, but still clean as we had no legal ties to each other. However, that does not mean I still don't make plans to exit. I had to change and cancel so many things, transfer cash and so on. That is not something you want to handle emotionally because you need to have a plan. An exit strategy of how you're going to get out safely and legally as well. The narcissist can and will play the dirtiest tricks in the book. Remember, they'll do unspeakable things to keep you around. You are their supply and unfortunately, they are addicted to you. I would strongly recommend consulting a lawyer or a trained medical professional on this subject if you have a lot more ties to them. But when you speak to such professionals, remember to tell them the following. I need to exit this relationship. Please talk me through 
the legal aspects, custody and so on, vitally important. There is no more going back, so accept it and plan your exit. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you are enjoying this video. So once you have accepted you're going to leave, the decision is final, and you've successfully planned your exit, comes the part of walking away. Now you can do this in several ways. Over the phone, over text, letter, email. You can do it face to face but have one foot out the door already. You can do so for a lawyer. I remember when I finally walked away from the narcissist. We had the mother of all arguments. I even got locked outside of my home. The rain was pouring. I had to wait for a locksmith to come in the middle of the night. Enough was truly enough. Over the weekend, I accepted it was time to make the change and leave for good. And in that same time frame, I also started making all the necessary plans to exit. Then she reached out to me a few days later, obnoxiously saying, So, are you ready to apologise to me? I told her we were through. I eventually blocked her and moved on, never to look back. I had not seen her since that text exchange, and that was over two years ago. Once you walk, you're almost like a genie, free of the slavery of its master, its lamp. You are floating literally on air, cloud nine, walking temporarily. That can fade quickly and you'll start to eventually miss the narcissist romantically and that's going to test your character and your heart enormously. I removed all photos, reminders and so on of my ex the moment we split and I decided to make a list of all the awful things she did and the problems we had in the relationship. In fact I actually made a recording listing all the reasons and whenever I was at the gym or walking and I had a relapse moment, almost a relapse, I'd play it and remind myself, oh yeah, this happened, that happened, and so on. And I would be successfully reminded of why I am ending this relationship, why I'm walking away from the narcissist. You will be hurting today for a brighter tomorrow. You are saving your future self, your future life, your kids, your future kids by doing this. You are 110% doing this the right thing. Walk away from the narcissist. The final step is to remain no contact forever with the ex-narcissist. Now, like I said, if you've got kids, a mortgage and so on, seek legal advice, please, on how to keep communication to a bare minimum. But let's say that's not the case. Guess what, you've got no reason to ever see, speak, or have any dealings with this person ever again. Unfortunately, life's not a fairy tale, nor is it anything like we think it should be, according to Hollywood, Disney. The narcissist is never going to come up to you, look you deep in the eyes and say something like, I'm sorry for what I did. I respect your decision. It's a shame it didn't work out. I wish you all the best. I hope you find happiness in the future. We had a good run. We had a great thing going, but it just wasn't meant to be. Goodbye. Good luck. Yeah, that form of closure from perhaps a more normal, healthier relationship is never going to happen to you with them. Rid yourself of the fantasy. That is why no contact and even blocking and deleting their details is the only logical, healthy, rational step forward. Have yourself a pity party. Feel bad, cry, grieve, mourn the loss of a romantic relationship that ultimately, when you look back on it, was a complete disaster. But please ensure that you're doing this on your own. Never do this with a narcissist, nor even let them know how bad you're hurting. Because they're going to hoover you back and undo all the incredibly brave and amazing hard work you've done in the first place to get out, to heal, to recover, to rediscover the amazing person you are. There is no reason for this individual to have any further say, purpose in your life at all. It is well and truly dead, over, never to be revived again. Did you ever hear the love story of the person who went back to their narcissistic ex? 
Yeah, that doesn't exist. There is not a happily ever after with them in your life. However, there is a happily ever after in your now near foreseeable future. I sit here talking to you now a much happier, prouder, braver man because I walked away. So use me and many others as your inspiration. But also remember to remain no contact forever. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, here's some more content you might be interested in.